Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be breaking down Tropical Storm Lee. This is just formed in the Atlantic Ocean and is expected to become a Category 4 hurricane as it moves off to the west-northwest toward the Lesser Antilles. Now this could impact the United States down the road, but I'm going to give you a breakdown and an honest forecast on what you can expect over the next several days and whether this will actually impact the United States. And if it does, where will it go? We'll be giving you all those details for you in this forecast, but let's first begin with what's happening right now with Tropical Storm Lee. Now, this has just formed over the past couple hours. It is looking pretty organized already. It's a low-end tropical storm. Sustained winds around 45 miles per hour. It's moving off to the west here, and this is well back out in the central Atlantic Ocean, so it's still hundreds of miles away from impacting any land, including the Lesser Antilles, Bermuda. It is really far away right now, but over the next several days, this will continue to march to the west, and it will begin to impact intensify into a hurricane possibly as early as late tomorrow if not going into Thursday it's going to intensify pretty quickly now the National Hurricane Center does have this right now far to the east of the Lesser Antilles it's basically in between Africa and the Lesser Antilles so again it's pretty far off to the east right now of any land but this will continue to move off to the west and it will be going toward the Lesser Antilles now one key note to note with this thing right now is that there is a huge cone of uncertainty and the cone of uncertainty gives us an idea of where the eye of Tropical Storm Lee could go but let's first talk about the intensity. Over the next few days, as early as Thursday morning, this is expected to become a Category 1 hurricane. Once we go into Friday afternoon, this is expected to become a major hurricane, meaning a Category 3 hurricane. And eventually going closer to Saturday into Sunday, this is expected to become a Category 4 hurricane. By that point, could it get to a Category 5? It is not out of the question. We have a very favorable environment here in the Atlantic Ocean with low wind shear and very high water temperatures, and that's just a mix for disaster, really, with anything that does develop. We saw that with the Dahlia a few a few days ago, even a week ago. That's when it made landfall in Florida. It intensified very quickly to a Category 4. It's entirely possible, though, that this does get to a Category 5. But let's talk more about the Cone of Uncertainty. What does this actually mean? Well, the Cone of Uncertainty basically marks where the eye of this storm could go. So that basically means the eye could go anywhere in this area. Impacts could be felt outside of this. So if this takes the furthest southern track in this Cone of Uncertainty, that would mean we'd still see impacts in the Lesser Antilles with lots of rainfall, storm surge, and as well as even some high winds. But notice this cone of uncertainty is very large and where it's pointing towards. And you're probably going to think right off the bat, this looks really scary because it's pointing right at Florida or even the East Coast. But do not get too far ahead of yourself because the cone of uncertainty only goes out about five days. That's it. If we had a larger cone of uncertainty, we really could make it this large. It could literally legitimately go anywhere here in the Atlantic Ocean or perhaps even possibly toward the Gulf of Mexico. It's a very, very, very large area that we're looking at. And the reason why it's such a large area is because long-term forecasting with hurricanes is very difficult. And one of the main reasons why is because we'll have a high pressure system. That's our Bermuda High that'll be off to the north of this. And that's going to help to steer this either further to the north, that would mean out to sea, or potentially going a little bit more northwest, perhaps going toward the east coast, maybe in between the Carolinas and the northeast. That's the big uncertainty right now in the long term with this system. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the track with the different computer models. And a lot of computer models are showing different things but they're pretty much all in unison that over the next three days this will be going toward the just northeast of the Lesser Antilles so most of the computer models are keeping it just off to the north we'll probably see at least some impacts maybe tropical storm impacts in the northern Lesser Antilles that would mean maybe some tropical storm force winds maybe some flooding rains and as well as maybe even a little bit of storm surge but notice over the next five to seven days these computer models get a lot more split some of which are bringing this more toward Bermuda which would mean probably more out to sea not impacting the United States nearly as much and then some of which which are bringing this a little bit far out to the west. But notice there's only a couple of computer models here that are actually showing that. So there's really not really any cause for alarm yet if you're in the United States, but there is going to be something to watch for here because if it does take a bit more of a westerly track going toward the east coast, it could very well bring some substantial impacts. One thing I cannot stress enough is that there is so much uncertainty with Tropical Storm Lee. And the reason why is because think of it this way. Let's say you're forecasted high temperature in 10 days from now, which by the way, Lee will probably not in back the United States for about 9 to 10 days if it does. So just think of it this way. Let's say the temperature you have forecasted is 75 degrees and all of a sudden, that, like 3 days from now, it changes to 85 degrees. That's basically what we're talking about in terms of uncertainty. There's going to be a lot of changes over the next several days with the track and as well as the intensity. So there's no reason to be scared, no reason to panic if you're in the United States. I cannot stress that enough. We are so far out. Lots of things can change between now and then. But when we're talking about the intensity, this is likely to become a Category 4 hurricane. It might get near Category 
five as well so again this is expected to become a pretty intense hurricane over the next several days notice the tracks in the long term these are different ensembles that we're looking at and most of them are bringing this at least to a category four hurricane so it's pretty certain that we'll at least get to a major hurricane status either a category three a four maybe even a five but notice all the tracks most of them right now are bringing this toward bermuda and that would be more of a northerly track they don't go any farther though than maybe like lining up with like north carolina in terms of the latitude they're not going any farther north than that so we don't really have a good grasp on where this will go in the long term past the north carolina latitude but notice even a couple of outliers are still bringing this maybe closer to the united states which obviously is concerning but again that's an outlier model it's less than like a five or ten percent chance of happening right now so obviously if you see something on social media that says oh this could go toward the united states take it with a grain of salt because we are so far out in most of the computer models right now are not bringing this toward the united states and one example i want to show you is tropical storm florence which eventually became a hurricane in the atlantic ocean back in 2018 but notice the cone of uncertainty and how much it changed over time now i'm not saying this is exactly going to happen like florence did because florence changed a ton in the last about five days and that's why i'm saying five day forecasts are really the furthest we can go with hurricanes because there's so much uncertainty past five days and it's a big storm obviously a lot of these storms are big so i just want to throw that out there again there's a lot of uncertainty a lot of things could change and florence for example is a great example of what could happen with the cone of uncertainty again it went from going toward bermuda it changed a lot going further to the west and that's exactly what could happen with this however i would not get too worked up right now there's a lot of time between now and then now let's talk about two different computer models we're going to show you the european model and the gfs model two different tracks but i want to show you very closely what's going to happen over the next several days so by friday into saturday notice how this intensifies into a hurricane likely a major hurricane by this point late saturday maybe into sunday eventually by monday into tuesday this thing starts to park a little bit and two features that we need to watch for very closely be one the troughing that's going to occur back up in the northeast and two the bermuda high this bermuda high could steer this up to the north perhaps toward new england but it also might just steer this thing right out to sea and there's two big different scenarios here that both could happen the more likely scenario is that this does steer out to sea so no the european model by thursday of next week this is by september 14th by the way but don't forget we're about nine days out from this even going off to the north it's a long time from now there is again no reason to panic i cannot stress that enough it's so far out but notice by that time thursday to friday this starts to move off to the north now the european model does start to show that it might go more closer to the united states but again, there is over nine days out until this is even near the United States. So there's no reason to panic, no reason to evacuate. I mean, again, that would be ridiculous at this point. We're just so far out. This is the GFS model showing pretty similar stuff. So this is by the 11th, 12th, 13th. This is by September 13th. Notice again, nowhere near the United States by this point. Again, no reason to panic. By the 14th, 15th, and 16th, the GFS does show it goes closer to New England. But notice the hour that we're on. We're on hour 250. That is so far out it is unbelievable to really think that this will definitely go toward the united states because there's just so much uncertainty but that would be really contingent on this bermuda high being this far off to the north which is entirely high or it's entirely possible that it could be that far off to the north but again there's a lot of uncertainty with that even happening the features that we need to see for this to be steering different directions are not determined yet they are so many days to go and again forecasting a hurricane nine to ten days out is just so unrealistic so again if you're seeing graphics on social media that are showing it going right toward the United States. Don't get too far out of yourself. Again, there are so many days out until these things could very well change. And again, the high pressure system and the jet stream are two big factors. Here's the jet stream as well, just for reference. This is the European model, indicating this would be where Lee is right around 11th or so. The troughing is going to be pretty important, though. This will actually bring a cool down to parts of the United States. But this troughing will be a pretty critical feature because this could start to pull this more off to the north. And depending on this timing, this could obviously get caught up in the jet stream or it could go a bit further to the west so again there's a lot of uncertainty here uh where the better chance of this making landfall would be would probably be new england but again there's a lot of days out stay tuned we're gonna keep you posted with no hype forecast here i'm giving you the honest stuff that's happening with this right now and what is to come we'll keep you posted with the latest but in conclusion we're not really looking at any direct impacts to the united states quite yet again we have seven to ten days until this is even remotely close to the united states which means a lot of things are going to change in between now and then so no reason to panic but make sure you're monitoring the weather closely every single day just check in on the national hurricane center website and check their details because there's gonna be a lot of things that change in between now and then we'll keep posted with the latest no hype here on the max velocity channel thank you so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you're not already